So you need to analyze an antenna but not sure how to go about it. Well today we're going to do it the easy way with a Nano VNA. Okay, before we turn the unit on, let's go on the outside real quick. There's a, a couple of, there's a switch over here that's your power on and off. You have a jog wheel over here that will jog the cursor back and forth. You have port one, port two. They're also known as S11 and S21. In fact, when you see on the screen here, S11 and S21 will be referred to on the screen instead of port one and port two. Don't know why they did that, but they did. It's okay. Now let's turn the unit on. And the first thing you're gonna see is uh, just a whole host of things on here that may sort of intimidate you and say, well, I, uh, I don't think I could do this, but uh, you really can once you get the, uh, the hang of it and, and get some of those uh, traces turned off on the screen. Once you do that, you're okay. Now, I went ahead and put the pigtail on here. It's supplied with your unit a couple of these pigtails because we're gonna be not only taking our reading with our antenna, we're also going to be calibrating this unit as well. First of all, let's get rid of some of these traces. So let's just, uh, let's tap on the screen anywhere. We can say display and we can say trace. You see right there on the right hand side, all the colorful traces that corresponds with what's on the screen. To turn those off, you just need to tap them twice. That turns off trace three. Tap trace two twice and one twice. Now you can turn them back on if you want. Just tap it once and it comes right back on. Tap it off. We're gonna be dealing with trace zero today, so we're just gonna leave that the way it is. Okay, now we need to tell trace zero what to do. Right now, it is uh, looking at a log mag over here on port one, which is something that it just defaults to. We don't wanna do that. We wanna go ahead and format that trace to let that trace know this is what we want. So hit back. Come up here to format S11, which is this one right here, S11, that's port one. And we want to hit SWR. Now, if you notice up here in the upper left-hand corner, SWR is now highlighted on S11. Okay, now we need to decide what frequencies we'd like to look at. Right now, it is set for 50 kilohertz all the way to 900 megahertz. So when you look at this screen right here, it's gonna be looking at all of those frequencies. We wanna narrow that down quite a bit. In fact, we wanna look in the uh, 10 meter technician band, which is 28.3 megahertz to 28.5. In fact, we wanna widen that a little bit. We're just gonna do the whole 10 meter band. And the way to do that is to hit back, hit it one more time. Now you need to come up here to stimulus and you see start, stop, center, on down the line. We want to set our start frequency at 28 megahertz. So we say start, and we just say 28 M for megahertz. Now at the bottom it says 28 megahertz for start. The stop still says 900. We want to stop it at 29.7. So hit the screen, hit stop, and say 29.7 seven megahertz. Now it says 29.7. So this scale right here is only gonna read from 28 to 29.7, which is the entire 10 meter band. So the frequency we wanna see in the center of the technician band, which is 28.3 to 28.5. So I'd like to probably center that at about 28.4 because that's where the antenna that uh, we made was pretty much cut for. It was cut for uh, 28.4. So let's go ahead and go back to that and let's say center and let's just say 28.4 megahertz. Now the center of this graph right here is 28.4 megahertz. Now what we have to do is we have to calibrate our analyzer for that range of frequencies. Inside your kit, you got three caps. You have an open cap, you have a shorted cap, and you have a load cap. We wanna start off with the open cap. That's the one that has nothing on the inside. It just looks like a, just a cap. And we wanna put it on our port one, just like that. 
We want to tap on our screen. We want to say back and we want to say calibrate. Okay, here's the calibration that's set to already preset from that 50 kilohertz to 900 megahertz that you saw earlier. We want to reset that because we don't, we don't want that one. We want to do our own. So tap calibrate at the top and you'll see the open, short, and load. That's the three caps that come with your kit. We already have the open attached to it now, so all we have to do to calibrate it is just hit the open. And watch the progress bar, and boom, there it is. It's already done. We remove that cap, and we put on the short, because that's what it is asking for. And it is the one right here that has the pin in it, and basically it's just a dead short. Put that on the end of our jumper here, and then we tap short. The final of the three is our load. This has a resistor inside that cap that makes it uh, 50 ohm and it's at, acting as an antenna itself. So we need to put that on the end of our cable and do the same thing. Okay, now that we are calibrated, we are ready to test our dipole 10 meter antenna. Now before we can do that, the little pigtail that come with your unit, I have a barrel attached to it which come part of the kit and we're going to have to put an SMA to an SO239 connector on there so that we can attach our antenna. So uh, we put that on there so that we can put our coax line on. Now once we do, as soon as we put this line on, we're going to get that reading of uh, 28.4 megahertz centered right in the center there. So keep an eye on that screen right there. And there we go, already starting to see it. Let's let it settle down. And there you go. See, we centered it at 28.4. The antenna was cut for 28.4, so absolutely right dead center there. Look at that, 1.067, yeah, 1.0, 1. so one to one. That's a perfect uh, SWR right there. Center frequency SWR at one to one. Okay, now if we want to know if our antenna line, antenna, everything is matched, a perfect match, we can go measure the resistance on that. Tap your screen, and if you're not at this one here, go, let's go back to display, and then we say format S11 again, that's that top one up here. Let's go ahead and hit that. Remember, that's where we did our SWR. You can check the resistance right below that, and this will tell you how your antenna looks. We're looking for 50 ohms, right around 50 ohms. It's gonna bounce around a little bit, but there it is up here in the upper left-hand corner, 52.9. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's still in the ballpark there uh, of, of 50 ohms. So now you know that it's a good match, good SWR, you're good to go. Well, hey, hopefully that helps you a great deal the next time you're tuning up an antenna. Don't be intimidated by the analyzer. Hey, if you got some comments, please put those down below. We'd appreciate that a lot. Also, like and subscribe. <music>